Guys, it's bad enough my hairline was receding at the age of 18. I know what a young age for your hairline to just like crawl up, but it's happening. So sad. It wasn't like this last year, was it? I mean, if you look at my older videos, you could definitely see my hairline was like normal but for some reason this year it's just like curled up you got like a little iphone x um look to it but anyway so today um i've, I've wanted to do this video for a long time but i just didn't know how i was gonna do it i was thinking i'd do this later on once um rivera edge is more like prominent but i figured why not just do it now so today i'll be telling you what classes i took to become a knife maker you know all the knives i make so here's a you know a few pictures of some you know, they're, they're pretty decent for what they are. Um, you know, my first year of professional knife making. Well, I wouldn't say professional, but like actually like learning the process instead of just like, you know. So yeah, um, first classes I took to become a knife maker was I went to um, Cold Steel, um, Australia, and they taught me how to, I'm just kidding, guys. I didn't take any classes to become a knife maker because to put it simple, there are not a lot of classes in Australia where I live that do knife making courses. And knife making isn't really considered like the most, um, not the most, it's not even considered a professional career in Australia. In the US, there is a lot of professional knife makers, but there's really a lot of um, different um, terminologies for a professional knife maker. Um, you got people who are blacksmiths and they hammer out, forge all of their knives, all of their products, and they usually do it in a smaller quantity with a higher price tag. Um, those are for like, you know, so then you have production knife makers like uh, Gar Custom. Yeah, he makes lots of production knives. He started from the ground up, built his way up there. So he's really admirable, admirable, you know, so yeah, guys, English is like my second language, so bear with me so yeah um, I took no classes zero classes and you're probably wondering well how did you get you know this good I'm not saying like I'm the best but like how do you get to this level without any classes or like you know because usually you'd think you know you if you want to become like a fireman or something or a police you take classes right well not with knife making knife making is an art form as well as a uh, career choice um, really all I did was do a ton of research on YouTube. Now, YouTube is probably one of the best places to learn. I know it's a good procrastination place as well. It's also a really good, like, um, just entertainment in general. But really, everything I learned off knife making was from YouTube. YouTube helped me um, understand the economics of knife making, how to make a knife, uh, the functions and purposes of different knives. Cause like back when I used to go to high school, you know, in grade seven to now pretty much, I've slowly just researched and obsessed over knives. There was a period in time, I think it was like um, grade nine and grade 10, where I took a break from like knives. I really didn't focus onto it. I focused more on like um, entomology, not really professional entomology, but like just keeping animals and stuff like spiders. You probably know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I've slowly accumulated all this knowledge throughout the years and not just, um, knowledge, like you gotta actually like do it as well because, um, when you know something, yeah, you may know it, but you don't really own it. If you may, uh, if that makes any sense, like I know how to, I've watched a video on how to make a knife. That doesn't mean I know how to make a knife. Like I gotta go actually do it because when I do it. I own it and when I own it I you know life's good I only really started to really take it seriously in grade 11 that's when I really wanted to do Rivera Edge full-time that's when I wanted to make Rivera Edge a thing I mean back then it was Rivera space edge space blades which is really really whack I don't really like uh, Rivera space edge it's just Rivera Edge with no space it's that's how I stylized it because it just looks cooler like that. And it's just, it's just better too. It's more unique. So yeah, I really didn't take any classes. I went on YouTube. 
I watch a ton of videos, um, especially in my, you know, schooling life. Instead of like, you know, doing my homework, instead of listening in class, I'd be on my computer watching videos on how to make knives, which is like, um, I don't regret it. I don't re I really don't regret it because at this point I wouldn't be here now um, if I hadn't, you know, done that. Even though I technically could have just done it in my free time, but you know, that, that was stopping Gillian back in the day. So yeah, I would watch videos on how to make uh, a knife or not even a knife. It was like um, a freaking ninja star. It was like a ninja star out of a saw blade. And it just evolved from that. So I kept on watching videos. I kept on taking what I learned from YouTube and applying it in real life. So when I applied it in real life, I did hands-on stuff and, you know, I did it, you know? I just kept doing that until it got to where we are now. You know, my first knife, my really, really first knife wasn't, um, you know, that good. It was pretty bad. But then my first knife that I learned to make with proper knife making processes, you know, heat treat, um, hardening, annealing, you know, all that stuff, stock removal, actual proper bevels. That's when I was like, oh, I've made my first actual knife. So yeah, I took no classes in knife making. Um, and I don't think that's like a bad thing. I think it's a good thing to take classes, but if you can't, then it's fine. You can really just learn so much from YouTube. Um, everything I've learned up to this point was from YouTube, you know, we're self-taught. So, you know, and if I could do that, if I could teach myself how to do something like this, then you can as well. Whether that be like, I don't know, singing, writing, um, art. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff you can learn off YouTube. But don't get me wrong, having a teacher is a good thing as well. So yeah, that's all for today. I just thought I'd um, express my freaking story with knife making. So yeah, no class with knife making, all self-taught, and you can do it too, whatever it is you wanna do. You can self-teach yourself. So yeah. Oh, and this is the new YouTube outro that I made. It's the first time I'm gonna use it.